Hello and good morning. Today is August 19th and today we are reading Micah chapter um, 5 through 7 and Matthew chapter 25. And I just want to take a moment to look at something cool in Matthew chapter um, 25, which is the parable of the um, of the gold, which is where you see Jesus teach a pa uh, parable on um, a master who gives his servants um, bags of gold before he leaves for an extended period of time. And the servants are expected to do something productive with the money that they are given. And you see one servant is because he was uh, more trusted than some of the others who had already proved himself was given five. Another one was given two and one was given one bag. And the one that was given five bags doubles the ba amount of money he has. The second one that was given two bags was also able to double what he had. But the person who was given one bag went and hid it in the earth and just left it there until his master came home. And no surprising, his master was displeased with him for having just buried it in the ground and not even put it into a bank where he could have earned a little interest on it. And it's just such a cool story because it is a story of where when you are trusted with something that is given to you by God, if you do what you are being called to do, you will see it grow. It is the idea of you um, tend the little that you're given and you're given more. And it's just such a cool thing because we as a church have seen that of where God has entrusted us with a little. But as we have continued to manage and do good with the little that God gave us, we have continued to see growth as a church. We've continued to see us expand, multiply, and grow and just get to do cool things for the kingdom of God. And the same can be said for our own lives. When we are trusted with a little, no matter what little it may be that God has entrusted us with, if we manage it well, if we take care of what God has given us, we get to see it grow, we get to see it multiply, and we get to see um, more things that God will entrust us with in our lives. Whether it be it is a um, faithfully tending to one friend and their spiritual needs and helping them grow and learn who Jesus is, or it is then moving into you are in charge of a small group of people or a small group of students or even a classroom full of kids and getting to help them learn about who God is and why it's so cool to have faith in him and the awesome things that God does for us. When we manage the little that we are given, we get to see big results. And that can look in so many different ways. Like I have um, former students from when I was back home in California that we tended to them while their faith was young and um, not quite there, who have gone off and are doing ministry now, who are doing all sorts of cool things. But because we tended to the little that we were given, the small faith that they had when they first walked through our doors in the youth ministry, they are now going off and doing cool and awesome things for the kingdom of God. And the same can be for you guys. Whether it is your own kids or kids in the church, you guys can um, help shape the lives of the students around us and you can see the kingdom grow because of the effort that you put in to those around you. So that is my encouragement to you guys, is that you take what God has given you, no matter what it may be, there's the small amount of finances you have, the kids that, um, <laughs> that you are responsible for, or even ones that you volunteer to be responsible for. If you manage what God has given you and you take care of those kids well, you'll see it grow and you'll see cool and awesome things happen for the kingdom of God. But until next time, church, you are sent.